Welcome back to the Big Fat Mixed Midi Tribe and in today's episode I will show you how to make a very 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 simple mini album which will really be mini. So I had lying around on my table these little square pieces of cardstock which are leftovers from a previous project that I made. I like these little square pieces, there are quite a few of them, so I've decided to use them. And since I am still in this very uh, strange after Christmas New Year celebrations mood, I've decided just to use whatever I can reach uh, from my seat, what's on the table, what's on the shelves, but just something very simple. For the cover of the album I will be using these slightly thicker pieces of cardstock. They are 2 mm thick and I really like this thickness because um, the paper is still very sturdy but you can cut it with scissors so it makes life easier. I don't need to search for cutting mat and cutting knife and I can just cut it with scissors. And I I'm having a very simple and easy approach to making this album. I'm measuring as little as possible. So I used my little squares to determine the size of the cover and the cover will be just a couple of millimeters bigger than the little squares themselves. So I made a mark with my pencil, used a straight, a straight corner ruler to make a straight line and now I'm cutting my thick cardboard. It does take some effort, but it is cuttable with scissors. And then again I used the same little square to determine the width of my album. I'm making a mark with a pencil just outside the edge of the little square to know how big the cover needs to be. And again drawing a straight line with a straight corner ruler which makes life definitely easier and cutting them with scissors. And I am determining the um, height, no thickness of my album. I took all my little squares and cut a piece of the thicker cover material so that my squares fit into the album. And again, there is no ruler. I am using the previously cut pieces of the cover to make a mark on the paper so that I know where to cut the next piece. I really enjoyed this um, method of making albums. Uh, this video is not exactly about making albums. It is just about making something enjoyable on what's on your table. So if you would like to see a more detailed explanation on how I make albums, leave me a comment and I will do that. So now I have my thickness and I know that I will need a piece on the right side and a little piece that will cover my album on the top. So I'm cutting all those smaller pieces too. So here I have the right side piece cut. And now all that's left to do is to cut a little piece that goes on the top of the cover. And again I'm using the already cut pieces of the cover to measure the last piece. And since I don't want the top cover of my album to be as big as the album itself but just about half to cover just about half of the top of the album I'm cutting it about in the middle, roughly in the middle. So this is the last piece left to cut for the cover of the album. And now I am uh, gluing the decorative paper on the cover or I should say more precisely that I'm gluing the pieces of the cover to the decorative paper. 
and my decorative paper this time is a very ordinary brown wrapping paper which I use to wrap my Christmas presents so why not it's a lovely color it's quite sturdy so I'm going to use it but please do not do what I'm doing here I'm using my uh, water bucket bucket where I wash my brushes to keep down the uh, glued pieces so it's very dangerous imagine if I toppled the little pot <laughs> but yeah again I'm just grabbing whatever is near me to to get the project going <laughs> forward <laughs> Okay, let's leave the pieces to dry. I glued them in straight line. And when the glue has set a little bit, I'm using again my very handy ruler to cut the decorative paper. And I'm leaving about two centimeter strip around the cover. But it shouldn't be this big. It is just what I normally do with bigger albums. For this small album, it could be smaller. But again, just to make life easy, I'm using the same uh, ruler because it allows me to draw straight uh, border very easily and this is another little handy tool all these tools by the way are from VR memory keepers but of course there are other companies doing the same thing and this is a tool to cut the 45 degree corners it's not necessary you can just use your scissors and cut a corner but again, this little handy tool makes life much more easier and stress-free. And even, the, even though the album is very small, I am using my usual album making techniques, which means that I'm also using uh, glue tape along with a liquid glue to glue the uh, flaps on the back side of the album. I like this method because the glue tape allows the paper to grab instantly and the liquid glue allows me to move a little bit if I make an error so combining the two gives the best best results again probably for a small album I'm being over secure I'm over securing the <laughs> the work but still it's my usual album making method so I'm using it here too then I'm using a bone folder to press down the paper and also to fold the little corners in to make a very very neat and good looking uh, uh, corner of my album. All that's left to do is to use the same method on both little ends of the cover and then the outside part of the cover will be finished. Lovely! So now I will use the same paper. Again, now measuring with a ruler, I'm just putting a piece of paper on already existing cover and I'm putting a pencil mark where I need to cut. So I don't even know what size or centimeter this is. I'm just using already made part of the album to measure everything that comes next. And the glue that I'm using, by the way, is Art Glitter Glue, very reliable glue for paperworks. And then with the bone folder I'm pressing the paper down and with the bone folder I'm also going into the little grooves between the pieces of the cover just to make my album to understand how it will need to fold. And this is how the cover will look. So let's put it aside for a moment and let's work on the album itself. And I'm making an accordion album, which is, I think, the simplest way to make it. And I'm cutting little strips, which are slightly shorter than my pages, to glue the pages together, to glue the parts of accordion together. And again, to make life easier, I'm scoring them in the middle, because this way they're quite 
it is easier to fold the quite thick cardstock in two. And then it's just the matter of gluing my accordion together to each little folded piece of paper I'm gluing two pages and I'm alternating the sides where I'm using the glue so one page I'm gluing on the left side the next one I'm gluing on the right side on the left on the right on the left on the right until I will run out of little squares So while that is uh, drying under the little book there, I'm returning to the cover and I'm using um, glue tape to glue down a very thin, uh, I think this is a one millimeter magnet to the cover. I used the smallest, thinnest magnets I could find because the album is obviously very, very small itself. And then I grabbed the handmade paper which was on my table because I was uh, preparing happy mail for my um, crafting friends with whom I exchange crafting ephemera and I'm gluing little piece to cover the magnet and I will I did the same thing on the other side of the album glued the magnet the other half of the magnet but since this will be a visible part of the album the top cover I'm using much thicker handmade paper and I wanted to use the white side but when I was going to put the glue on I noticed that I quite like the stamped uh, text so I decided to make that my good side and I used the same thick handmade paper on the other side of the cover just this time the white uh, side of the paper no stamping okay and this is the cover let's put it that let's put that aside to dry because in the meantime our album is dry and we can proceed with decorating and again I'm using the same ordinary humble wrapping paper I'm using my squares to measure a square which is slightly smaller than the page and I'm using a ruler to tear them because I want the edges still be quite uh, straight but not cut as straight as cut with scissors so I'm using a ruler to tear the paper and you get this uh, slightly frayed edge and again I'm using the previously uh, cut squares to measure the next ones I need to cut and then I'm tearing very approximate squares for the next layer from the handmade paper so the first decorative layer is my wrapping paper and then a little square of the handmade paper and finally to decorate it I will be using these stamps by R Atelier which I really really like. I really like the stamps which are um, inversed where the image uh, is cut into the stamp and you ink the surrounding of the image and I will be using almost all of the stamps beautiful to create a little decorative element in the middle of my page so I did the same for all the pages and here it is here is our little album glued into the cover. And each and every page. And if you want, you can write something on the other side of the pages or leave them blank. But it is just a lovely, cute object and it warms my heart from very humble materials and very simply made. I hope you got inspired. Please go create a little album on your own. And I see you in the next episode.